As fans of the Law & Order universe, we feel like we know all about our favorite series regulars, so it may come as a surprise to find out which Law & Order stars are sitting on sizable fortunes. Raul Esparza's 19-year-long career led to him being cast as the matter-of-fact assistant district attorney, Rafael Barba, in the 14th season of Law & Order Special Victims Unit. His six seasons on the show have contributed to his $9 million net worth. Esparza's role on SVU was the result of years of persistence and determination. Despite facing adversity early on, he became one of Broadway's leading men throughout the 2000s, starring in several plays and musicals over the last two decades. Aside from Barba, Esparza played pharmaceutical salesman Alfredo Aldericio in Pushing Daisies. He was haunted by the notion that at any moment the Earth could lose its atmosphere and he would be sucked into the vacuum of space the pompous Dr. Frederick Chilton in Hannibal, and the voice of the well-mannered mouse Ralph Stilton in BoJack Horseman. Esparza departed SVU as a series regular in 2018. He told Entertainment Weekly, "...the learning process of how roles grow over a period of time with a series has been kind of fascinating. I just felt I had reached the end of what I wanted to explore where they were writing." Since his departure, Esparza has appeared on stage in Chess, The Waves, The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui, and Roadshow. Known for his portrayal of the veteran-slash-homicide detective, Captain Donald Cragen in Law & Order and Law & Order Special Victims Unit, Dan Florek has blessed our TV screens for over three decades. And I'm honored and grateful to have worked with the finest unit of detectives I've ever known. His Cragen displayed a blend of hardiness and dedication that most higher-ups in legal dramas rarely achieve. With Florek appearing in close to 400 episodes, earning $100,000 per episode, it's easy to see how his net worth reached $10 million. Although acting wasn't his first choice, a drama scholarship was enough to shift the math and physics major to the theater department. Following a brief stint at the Juilliard School, Florek moved to Los Angeles to pursue his acting dreams. During his time there, the Michigan native found work in series like 21 Jump Street, Beverly Hill Bunce, Hill Street Blues, and L.A. Law. While his sudden departure from SVU in 2014 left fans confused, it was for good reason. The actor had reached the New York Police Department's retirement age. For the sake of maintaining realism within the show, Florek stepped down from his role. Aside from appearing in Under the Dome and Disillusioned, and even briefly reviving his role in Law & Order Organized Crime, the actor has been taking it easy and enjoying his $10 million fortune. In 1991, Cameron Mannheim got her first acting gig on Law & Order. I was just a snot-nosed kid out of graduate school, and like every New York actor wanted to add Law & Order to my resume. She appeared in various roles in three earlier seasons. Then Mannheim landed a recurring role on the 2022 Law & Order reboot as Commanding Officer Lieutenant Kate Dixon. What Mannheim described as a full-circle moment came after years of acting work. Outside of her work on Law & Order, she is best known as strong-willed lawyer Eleanor Frutt in the Boston-based legal drama The Practice, for which she won an Emmy and a Golden Globe, tying with Faye Dunaway for the award. Mannheim also played Delia Banks in Ghost Whisperer, Christina in the dark comedy film Happiness, and Gladys Presley in the 2005 miniseries Elvis. It's safe to say Mannheim's work outside of the Law & Order universe has heavily contributed to her $12 million net worth. Although she's just become a series regular, she's already among some of the richest to have a recurring role on the show. Vincent D'Onofrio spent his earlier years funding his career through jobs as a bouncer, bodyguard, and delivery man. Although most of his gigs at the time were in the theater, this actor's actor eventually found work as an unhinged soldier in the acclaimed war film Full Metal Jacket. This is my rifle! There are many like it, but this one is mine! D'Onofrio's film career includes roles like Gordon and Dying Young, Edgar in Men in Black, and Robert E. Howard in The Whole Wide World. But he is best known for his portrayal of the fierce yet earnest detective Robert Gorin in Law & Order Criminal Intent. Bad guys do what good guys dream. Although D'Onofrio's had major success outside of Law & Order, it's hard to imagine him amassing his $14 million fortune without the help of the New York-based legal drama. He claims the opportunity almost slipped through his hands. In an appearance on Dax Shepard's podcast Armchair Expert, D'Onofrio confessed that he initially couldn't fathom a appearing in a recurring TV series. You're never home. You never see your wife. You don't have any friendships except with people on the set. You're doing 23 episodes and working 18 hours a day. Luckily, the versatile actor took the job. As a result, his 10-season stint with the series has contributed to his hefty net worth. Richard Belzer found success as a comedian-slash-TV personality well before becoming Munch, the cynical detective we all know and love. Aside from hosting his own television show in 1984, on which he famously got choked out by professional wrestler Hulk Hogan, Belzer made regular appearances on The Howard Stern Show. Then director Barry Levinson reached out to the comedian and brought him in to read for Detective John Munch. Originally, the character was created for the show Homicide, Life on the Street. Due to the character's popularity, the conspiracy-loving investigator was incorporated into both Law & Order and Law & Order's Special Victims Unit. Belzer says that his personality meshes with that of Munch. In an interview with Pop Goes the Culture TV, he explained that, I 
would never be a detective, but if I were, that's how I'd be. Belzer has even reprised his role in appearances on The Wire, Arrested Development, 30 Rock, and The X-Files. Here's a tip. Aluminum foil makes a lovely hat and it blocks out the government's mind control rays. It's safe to say that his illustrious career, from comedy to crime, has earned him a fortune, as Belzer is sitting pretty with a $16 million net worth. Before acting, Peter Herman was a Yale graduate turned high school teacher. Then he became Law & Order SVU's longest-running defense attorney, Trevor Langan, beginning with season 3. Langan is an expensive yet down-to-earth defense attorney with an ingrained sense of morality. Despite his longevity, Langan's appearances throughout the show were few and far between. He only appeared in 35 episodes throughout the entire series. Even so, Herman became one of the highest-earning actors on the show. While he is married to the richest actress from the legal drama, Mariska Hargitay, Herman is himself worth $20 million. As an actor, Herman is well known as Michael Burke in Guiding Light, Jack Boyle in Blue Bloods, and Charles Brooks in Younger. And if that isn't enough, Herman is also a successful writer. The German-American actor published his first children's book in 2018, titled If the S and Moose Comes Loose. I have a whole bunch of ideas. Now that one of them has made it out of the factory, the other ones are like, wait a second, what about me? My turn. I'm very happy that there are more ideas, and I'm riding away. Early on, Christopher Maloney funded his career through a variety of odd jobs, from bartending and bouncing to waiting tables and fitness training, in hopes of making it big. Maloney spent the earlier part of the 90s acting in whatever he could to get by. In 1997, he landed his breakout role on the HBO series Oz. His portrayal of bisexual serial killer Chris Keller catapulted him into the cast of Law & Order Special Victims Unit as rugged detective Elliot Stabler. Maloney admitted to Men's Health that the role has been both a gift and a curse. He told the publication, "...when my career started to happen, I could feel it, but I didn't want to trust it because I had struggled for so long, or at least it felt like I'd struggled for so long, and I didn't want it to go away." The actor stayed around for 12 seasons, 300 episodes, and now stars, again as Stabler, in spin-off Law & Order Organized Crime. In addition to his work outside of Law & Order, Maloney is sitting pretty with a $30 million net worth. Would you turn down the chance of being a regular on a hit crime show? According to Jersey native Ice-T, he would have been stupid not to accept. He told Page Six, "...you think because I am a rapper, I should have turned this down? That would have been stupid. I am about getting that check." The rapper-turned-actor was initially cast as Detective Odafin Tutuola for four episodes of Law & Order Special Victims Unit, but he quickly became part of the main cast and became the second most notable character on the show. In addition, Ice-T reprised his role on shows like 30 Rock and Chicago PD. He did voiceover work for American Dad and the popular first-person shooter video game Borderlands 3. Thanks in part to outside ventures like his reality show, Ice Loves Coco, his podcast and commercials for Cheerios, Tide, and more, Ice-T's net worth is estimated to be around $65 million. As the daughter of Jane Mansfield and Mickey Hargitay, Mariska Hargitay had big shoes to fill, and boy did she. She spent the last two decades gracing our TV screens as Olivia Benson in Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Each week, the show tackles sensitive topics like sexual assault, child abuse, and domestic violence. Hargitay's portrayal of the intuitive and empathetic commanding officer inspired her to help trauma survivors heal via the Joyful Heart Foundation. Before Law & Order, the actress worked throughout the 80s and 90s on series such as Falcon Crest, ER, and Can't Hurry Love. Hi. I am doing something so exciting that I can't get to the phone right now." But up until the call from Law & Order, Hargitay struggled. She told Outsider, "...I had a house and car I didn't want to lose, and I had a lot of credit card debt. Not to worry." As the longest-running female character in a TV drama, with her salary reaching $500,000 per episode, Hargitay's debt is long gone. Her net worth sits at $100 million.